Hi, and welcome to the ATS Virtual Trade Show. My name is Patrick Hald. I'm Chief Business Development Officer at Vention. Today, we're here to talk about modular automation and the future of manufacturing. Let's get started. So before talking about the future of manufacturing, let's talk about the state of industrial automation today. It's impossible today for high mix, low volume manufacturers to automate some of their production. If we take the example of a roughly $100,000 equipment, the payback period on such equipment using traditional technologies is not an attractive proposition for those manufacturers. The process typically goes the following way. They'll first start by selecting industrial components from catalogs that are either online or physical. Then they'll import the 3D models in the software of their choice and start assembling their automated equipment. Typically at this point, it requires the development and the design of custom parts to make sure that these components all fit together. The engineer will need to make 2D drawings of the parts that are custom and send out the drawings to suppliers to receive quotes on those parts. They'll need to generate the bill of material and finally send out the production launch of all of these custom components. Once everything is received, they'll need to assemble and finally start on the commissioning. This long process adds cost and lead time to the overall development of an automated equipment. In the last years, we've observed a number of demand and supply trends that really affect the future of manufacturing. Let's look at a few of those together. On the demand side, there are four important trends that will affect the next era of industrial automation. First, we've seen a shift in buyer expectations. Employees, and most importantly millennials, expect an Amazon-like experience with a one-click purchase and next day delivery from their B2B vendors. Second, there is a pressure on product life cycle. And such pressure to have a shorter product life cycle means that manufacturers must be able to create and deploy machines much faster. Number three, there is a reskilling of the manufacturing workforce where companies are trying to avoid having to hire external integrators to put in place their automated equipment. And fourth, there are significant government incentives for manufacturers to get into automation and get their production to the next level. Let's now talk about long-term shifts on the supply side of the equation. Number one, as we've mentioned before, the high price point doesn't allow for manufacturers with high mix low volume manufacturing to get into automation. Second, the complexity of system integration makes it such that you need to have experts internally or externally to deploy automated equipment. Third, competitors are no longer local. And fourth, there's a shift in expectation throughout the supply chain that's putting a lot of pressure on the supply side to be more efficient when it comes to deploying automated equipment. Finally, it's important possible today to avoid talking about the effects of COVID-19 on the future of manufacturing. The impact that it's had today is likely to last in the future. We can think about social distancing policies within a manufacturing environment or work from home policies for other employees. Some manufacturers will look to increase the resilience of their supply chain whereas others will face the dilemma of rehiring their workforce versus getting into automation. When we take all these trends together, we believe that there are three major impacts that we will see in the future. Let's start with the first one, 
the emergence of modular automation. First off, what is modularity? We can think about modular homes or modular furniture or modular containers. When it comes to modularity, there are three important things that need to be true. For Vention, this is where modularity starts. We have discrete, reusable modules that can all fit together. With second, predefined interfaces between those modules. And third, a functional separation of all these modules that can together create an entire equipment. Modularity is a trade-off where benefits must outweigh the costs. When we talk about benefits, we think about faster idea to design time, faster overall time to market for a machine, an overall cost reduction, and the overall flexibility and scalability of modular solutions. There might be limitations on form, function, or interfaces, but in our experience, Manufacturers that start their journey in automation or are even quite far into their journey benefit a lot more from using modular solutions. Now, what does this mean for the future of automation? There's likely to be more automation on shop floors of all shapes and sizes. And two, the definition itself of automation is likely to change. Now let's look at what Ben, a partner from Inventive Automation, has done with our modular ecosystem. Moving on, when we look at some of the trends that come together, such as the pressure on shorter product life cycle, the fact that competitors are no longer local, and the need for a more resilient supply chain, all of these combine add a lot of pressure on the return on investment for automated equipment. This means we're entering the good enough era where the barriers to automation must be lowered in order to be able to compete on a global scale. From our case studies, we've seen that the overall cost of a custom automated equipment can be reduced by as much as 40% using the Vention solution. Those cost savings happen at the design stage, as well as at the ordering stage, the assembly stage, and the commissioning stage. The more complex an automated equipment becomes, the greater is the potential for savings. What we've observed is that the vast majority of our customers or are able to accomplish a payback period of less than one year with their automated equipment. Beyond the actual cost of an automated equipment, savings can be realized at the process level, at the labor level, as well as through incremental volume from your manufacturing facility. Moreover, companies must think about the government incentives that are in place that favor the rise of automation, as well as the potential positive impact to workers that now have access to automation 
and therefore can spend time on more value-added tasks. All in all, we believe the future of manufacturing comes with lowered barriers to get into automation and scale with automation. Finally, we believe that the future of manufacturing comes with the empowerment of the workforce to create and deploy automation. Because a picture is worth a thousand words, let's look at the experience of Stephen at Foothills Industries and how he was empowered through Vention to create automated equipment by himself. Hello, my name is Stephen Galley. I am a maintenance technician at Foothills Industries. We manufacture medical drapes. When I started here at Foothills, I was asked about the possibility of having another cutting machine and I volunteered with my background as a fabricator and mechanic to look at the possibilities of building the machine in-house. Having gotten into it more deeply, I learned that there was a lot of engineering product development that had to take place behind the fabrication end of it and was fortunate enough to come across uh, Vention's website and found out that they would be able to help me with some of the areas that I was not as strong in. In the development of this machine, I talked to my supervisor and CEO and operators within the cutting department. We kind of had to come up with a very user-friendly machine, cost-effective, and easy to service. In working with Vention and being able to design the machine, we were able to address a lot of the issues and come in on budget. In my working with Vention, I was able to put my ideas in the forefront and ask for help when I needed it. And we have now been able to produce a cut and pull machine that will service our needs um, going into the future. So how does Vention help in taking advantage of all of these trends? We've created a manufacturing automation platform that allows users to design online using over 600 modular components, automate and simulate online using a code-free programming software, order online and receive the material as fast as next day, and deploy your automated equipment by assembling your structure and putting together the motion and control components as was defined in the virtual environment. Let's walk through some of the core technologies that allow Vention to offer this experience to our customers. MachineScope is an online specification definition tool that allow users to map processes, define technical requirements, and hone in on the acceptance criteria that's gonna define success for their machine. Machine Builder is our online 3D tool that's dedicated to modular machine design and automation, and that is loaded with all of our modular parts. Design in with such modular components enables task automation that would not be possible with traditional design software. We talk about a configuration engine that walks you through the design of a linear actuator from start to finish. A parts kit assistant that bundles together components that must come together. Our design checker assistant validates that a design is sound. Think about it as the spell checker for machine design. As well as all the design add-ons, the instructions throughout the software, and intuitive smart part connection. When it comes to defining the sequence of automation, Machine Logic is a code-free programming and simulation software that allows to create sequences that can be simulated in a cloud and then transferred over to the physical machine. All of that seamlessly. 
To bring all of these capabilities together, Machine Motion is a plug-and-play controller that drives all Vention actuators and is programmable using machine logic. Machine apps are purpose-built applications, such as our machine app for Cartesian palletizing. They're hardware agnostic programs that help in rapidly deploying automated equipment. We've created a section on our website called Vention Applications, where performance-proven designs are combined with step-by-step -step deployment guides and integration guides to help you get started much faster. We've recently added the Vention Partner Network that enables end users to seamlessly integrate value-added products in their design. You can find the ATS SuperTrack on Vention's Partner Network. And what we call Machine Frame are over 700 components that are modular in nature, can be combined together inside of the machine builder to create the automated equipment and driven by our machine motion controller to create the sequence of automation. As a manufacturing automation platform, Vention truly embraces the modular automation approach and allows customers to get into the future today. All in all, what do we think the future holds for manufacturing? We believe that there's going to be more automation on more shop floors of all sizes, that the definition of manufacturing and the automation in manufacturing will change itself, that the barriers to get into automation will be lowered through the rise of innovations, and finally, that the workforce will be empowered to take in charge industrial automation and bring it forward. That's it for us for today. Please don't hesitate to visit our website, watch the next webinars, or tour the virtual trade show hosted by ATS today. Thank you very much.